Hello, everyone. We are excited to welcome you on our webinar dedicated to the topic of choosing the right document process and solution for a business. This webinar is brought to you by Provectus, AI first consultancy and solutions provider, and our esteemed cloud provider partner, AWS. A couple of notes before we begin. As we move through the content, you are very welcome to ask questions in the question tab. We will address them during Q&A panel in the final part of the session. The webinar recording will be provided to you after the event. Let's get it started. All right. Before we begin, let's see who is in the room. I will now run a quick poll so we can better understand your role within the organization. This will help us speak your language and deliver a more tailored content. I'm launching poll now. Please send your responses. A couple more seconds for the audience to end responding. All right, thank you. Hoping you can see the results. Okay, subject matter experts, 17% of the audience and manager director level, one third. Okay, very good. I'm sharing results now. All right, thanks for your responses. Now let's outline webinar objectives and set your expectations for today. Uh, so the ultimate goal of this presentation is to provide you with a strategy moving forward and help you understand how to approach choosing the right document process and for solution, uh, solution for a business. We will start with an overview of the market for the document process and solution, outline important factors for choosing the solution and strategize on the existential problem of buy versus build. At the end of the webinar, uh, in order for you to have something tangible and actionable, we will tell you more about the unique opportunity to apply for a fully funded IDP solution discovery program designed by Provectus. Please stay with us till the very end of the session. Now let's, let's proceed through introductions. Since I'm speaking, I'm Yaroslav Tarasuk. I, I do business development at Provectus. I'm passing it over to you, Almir. Thank you, Roslav. Uh, my name is Elner Davlitov. I'm the IDP subject matter expert working with Provectus. Thank you. Sonali? Hi, I'm Sonali, AWS Solution Architect leading Intelligent Document Processing, and I'm from AWS. Thank you. Next slide. All right. Uh, a quick presentation of Quick introduction of Provectus. So we are an AI solutions provider and technology company, consulting company with competencies in machine learning, big data analytics, DevOps, and MLOps. We believe in the convergence of these technology practices and hoping that they play a critical role in accelerating AI adoption journey. As a company, we are headquartered in Silicon Valley with offices in United States, Canada, Latin America, and Europe. We work on solving the hardest problems in the world, like simulating turbulence in supernova explosion, using generative deep learning models, as well as on applied AI solutions. For example, demand forecasting and inventory optimization, use cases for companies like Blue Bottle Coffee or retail chains. Unlike the other professional services companies, we are an active contributor into open source machine learning and data infrastructure projects and this is what enables us to bring the latest and greatest innovations to our customers faster. Next slide. All right, speaking of the document processing market, we see that it spans across different industry verticals and business functions. So from banking and finance, which is normally intense for papers and manufacturing, which produce a lot of uh, documents, paper documents throughout the operational cycles. Healthcare, telecoms, and government are the most emergent ones lately. And uh, all across these verticals and business functions, we recognize the abundance of structured, semi-structured, unstructured, and handwritten types of documents. All right. Uh, Another quick poll in order to understand, to better understand which industry do you represent. I'm launching it now.
please free, feel free to respond. And as I said, just seconds for you to respond. All right, I'm sharing results. Sweet, so we have healthcare life sciences, banking, manufacturing, and other industries in the room. Pretty good. With that, uh, we are done with the intro part and I'm passing it over to Almir to cover the technical details. Thank you, Rostov. All right. Yeah, let's talk about why organizations are looking for um, IDP solutions. So um, most of the companies share the same incentives, such as cost reduction and increased accuracy and speed of processing. So uh, these are very common through every single use case, but uh, those are the commer commercial reasons driving companies to adopt IDP. But some companies go deeper and think strategically about the potential outcomes such as customer satisfaction improvements, employee productivity boosting, and potential synergy of integrations with the BPM solutions, ERP systems, CRMs, uh, which potentially can unlock way bigger opportunities. And people uh, still, they still uh, like confuse the OCR and IDP. So, for this webinar, I think it's very important to cross the line between them in order to understand the difference and capabilities of each. Uh, as it's a like ID, OCR is the component of the computer vision. Uh, it's responsible for converting the static documents into the digital format. There are pure OCR and template based solutions that help to achieve the similar results uh, comparing to IDP but their capabilities are limited to the structured documents with fixed and static layout. Maintaining these solutions can turn into an overhead as it depends on the document type, not content type. And more document types means more templates to maintain. So it's really hard to scale this type of solutions. IDP on the other hand also uses OCR as its essential component to get the input data for further processing and data extraction. But unlike template-based solutions, it uses machine and deep learning models and algorithms in order to extract the meaningful information. Their sustainability, sustainability depends on the content of the documents, not its types, uh, uh, which allows to scale solution easily. Yeah. Let's move to the next slide and dive into the IDP components overview. So uh, yeah, we will skip the very like low level details here for simplicity and we'll mostly outline the critical parts of the IDP components. And now we know that the first essential part of the system is OCR, um, which by the way, it stands for optical character recognition. I didn't mention it before, but good to know. So the general goal here is to identify main entities within the document, like paragraphs, forms, tables, and successfully identify the written text uh, in them. So it's called segmentation and OCR. Uh, we take this result and pass it to the next step. Next step is the data extraction. So here we are solving the context search problem where we're trying to extract knowledge from semi-structured data uh, they, uh, gotten from the previous step. And we try to build the structured data out, out of it. So bottleneck here is tables and unstructured text. Tables are uh, considered as a nested, nested data types, and it's very, very complex to identify and work with the tables, even, even today. Uh, the other 
problem is the unstructured text because unstructured text requires NLP solution in order to extract the data. Uh, otherwise, like the structured and semi-structured documents are mostly uh, could be solved very easily, uh, like in a few clicks. Let's move to the evaluation and monitoring step. So somehow in most of the cases, uh, this step is missing. But yeah, let's let's talk about more about the importance of this step. So we know that machines are really good in reducing the processing time of repeatable operations, but humans are still better in complex context tasks like the data extraction and reviewing. So the solution here is the hybrid system. So we also might uh, want to have the verification mechanisms, especially in a highly regulated areas like the healthcare, for example. So by hybrid approach and verification, we mean low confidence and missing information are forwarded to human ex experts. And some portion of the successfully fetched information also forwarded to human experts to ensure constant performance monitoring of the system. This is essential to maintain the highest uh, accuracy and performance for the IDP solutions. Storage. Storage is also quite important, especially, again, if we talk about very specific and narrow use cases like the healthcare. Uh, more often, the requirements for storage are really different based on the industry, use cases, and simply specifics of the, of the problem. So as I mentioned, for the healthcare in, uh, industry, for example, we have to consider storing ontology specifications or support FHIR, which stands for Fast Healthcare Interoperability Resources uh, format, which adds additional complications and overhead to the storage layer. In most cases, uh, simple object storage like Amazon S3 to store the raw documents and model artifacts relational database to store metadata and relations is enough. Depending on the business case and user customer need, there might be a need uh, in a text search and discovery capabilities. And for this, usually Elasticsearch uh, or similar uh, indexing databases uh, is enough to achieve the goal. Yeah, and last but not least uh, is automation. Automation is the glue for all, like all of the pieces we've mentioned previously. And it builds a final product out of it. So automation encapsulates data capture, model lifecycle, uh, labeling, retraining, evaluation, monitoring, human in the loop, integration, CI CD pipelines monitoring and infrastructure as code to have the repeatable infrastructure. And this is, this is very, very essential part. So we want to build reproducible environment to be able to separate staging and production workloads and development workloads, enable debugging capabilities for the development environments and so on. Yeah. Uh, this is essential for any solution, and IDP is not the exception in this case. So we outline it here. And the takeaway is uh, that IDP, as you can see, is more than just OCR. It's not the same thing. OCR is just a component. So to resolve document processing, you have to take care of numerous things like data capture, crowdsourcing, model training, etc. And yeah, as we mentioned, one of the weak points in any document processing solution is algorithms like NLP algorithms for uh, unstructured documents. Uh, yeah, but if you carefully approach the problem uh, and understand all the ins and outs, 
So using the right tools, right solutions for the implementation and uh, also very important right implementation partner, you can avoid most of the issues at the very beginning and eventually build a successful solution. Let's move to the next section, solutions landscape. Uh, poll time. Yara, would you mind to run the poll? So we want to know what stage are you on your current journey? Researching available solutions, evaluating a couple of vendors implementing a solution or scaling beyond one use case. Okay, cool. 75 is researching available solutions. So pretty, pretty much early stage and 25% is scaling beyond one use case, which is also very common. Good, good to know. Thank you for the answers. Yeah, let's do a brief solutions overview. So today we are not going to compare brand to brand. Uh, you can find a lot of materials in the public's uh, internet. So today we are going to compare different categories of solution. So first category is public cloud solutions. Uh, they are managed by public cloud providers and built on top of fully managed services. And they can easily uh, be set up and like, deployed on the infrastructure. The second category is the standalone solutions. It's a prepackaged solution like by ISVs or startups, usually narrowed down uh, to, to solve the several uh, problems, like uh, use cases and shipped, again, usually as a software as a service. And custom in-house solutions, uh, yeah, as you could guess, it's just solutions built internally, uh, implementing very specific or very custom use cases. So those solutions are built in-house. It could be deployed anywhere, depending on your real needs. Let's dive deeper into the public cloud solutions. So public cloud vendors usually offer the general purpose technology components for document processing, such as Amazon TextTrack, Comprehend, A2I, et cetera. But uh, it's worth to mention that components like A2I, which stands for Augmented AI, has rich spectrum of functionality, allowing to handle edge cases using human forces and uh, see the full picture of the overall workflow. And also, uh, it's quite important to know that some services are narrowed down to the industry specific use cases to improve the accuracy of predictions, like Comprehend Medical, text track expenses analyzer to, um, to extract the data from receipts, checks, and text track identity documents analyzer, which can help with the driver license, passports, et cetera. So those are very specific and trained on a specific set of documents. Uh, and this sol those solutions uh, yeah, could not be considered as general purpose and give additional advantage to the public cloud solutions. Standalone solutions provided by independent software vendors who have um, built their solutions using AI native platforms. And they are quite flexible and could onboard use cases of any complexity with proper uh, not any yeah, I apologize. I just, uh, they are good actually for very narrow use cases. So generally uh, they can handle documents that are more complex or have greater variation. They are uh, really rich in the UI capabilities, uh, but the downside here is that users are limited by their functionality and usually cannot go beyond. So they cannot handle the edge cases, onboard new use cases or modify the workflow process if it gets complicated uh, or uh, requires custom, like custom handling. The in-house solutions, uh, guys, I tried to 
cover in the previous slide accidentally. So they can uh, they can cover any use cases, any uh, level of complexity, and they are very very flexible as you have uh, the full control over the functionality and the roadmap, and can uh, use the state of the art technologies to achieve the best results. So amongst the problems with the in-house solutions is first of all you need to have a strong team with a strong expertise internally uh, in order to build efficient solution and uh, secondarily the costs so the costs are really high in the beginning though uh, will, will be pretty low in the long run So yeah, at this point, I will pass the word to my uh, counterpart from AWS, Sonali Saho. Sonali, your word. Thank you. Hi, so I will take some time how AWS IDP or Intelligent Document Processing uh, Pipeline can help you accelerate your IDP pipeline. So AWS IDP pipeline goes beyond just simple OCR, um, as Almi mentioned before, and you can also extract the key insights from your document in an accelerated manner, leveraging our AWS services. Of course, it will help you reduce the cost because uh, you will reduce on the um, uh, human workforce, as well as there is not much infrastructure to manage for you. At the same time, you can deliver result to your end customer in an accelerated way. So now let's look into the IDP pipeline uh, in AWS, how it looks like. These are some common stages that we see in, a, in an IDP pipeline. Um, and most of the time, uh, it always starts out with the very leftmost thing, that is the data capture stage, where you collect, aggregate, and store your data. Once you have the data, most of the time, our customer says, they get a whole package or bundle of documents. That is, those are not categorized, not predefined, not labeled. They even don't know what are those documents until they open it and see it. So again, how can we avoid that manual uh, intervention? That's why you can use uh, Amazon Comprehend classification uh, feature to accurately categorize those documents into its category. So once these documents are categorized, you can very well move on to the next stage of IDP pipeline, which is the extraction. If you already have an identified document, very well, you can skip the classification stage and can move on to the extraction again. In the extraction, your job is to extract all the data elements from your document accurately. And that's where Amazon Textract and Amazon Comprehend will come into the picture. But very commonly, our customers uh, have asked, like after extraction, they don't want to stop there. They want to move on to the next step, which is the, which is the enrichment phase, where they want to collect those insights or supplement their existing documents with additional documents. And that's where Amazon Comprehend Medical in the um, uh, healthcare context would come, as well as you can leverage PII, PHI reduction feature of Comprehend and Comprehend Medical as well. And very finally, we need a human being to review for, uh, for any post-processing or key business terms, uh, those kind of feature, and you can leverage Amazon A2I or augmented AI to build the post-processing pipeline. So this is the very high level uh, overview of uh, intelligent document processing pipeline and how AWS services can help. Moving on. We started with the data capture stage. So in the data capture stage of Amazon S3, which is 11 nines of durability, uh, you can use Amazon S3 to store any kind of documents of your type, uh, such as like PDFs, JPEG, PNG, TIFF format documents, and they can be a very well scanned documents as well. So it gives you that reliability and highly available data store for your uh, data capture stage. Moving on to the next one is the data classification. 
Uh, and in this case, you can see Amazon Comprehend, a custom classifier can help you uh, classify all of your documents. It's a two-step process. Uh, and uh, first of all, you can build your own model with Amazon Comprehend custom classifier. And then once the model is ready, you can call into the API and if you can accurately, it can accurately classify the documents for you. Uh, so you are not spending more time in picking up the algorithm or picking fine tuning the model because those will be already be taken care of by Amazon Comprehend in this case. Moving on uh, to the extraction stage. In the extraction stage, you can leverage Amazon Textract to accurately extract all data elements from you. What are those? Can They can be of like raw OCR or text type. It's a bag of words. Um, in addition to that, it can also gives you like forms and table type. Forms as in like key value pair, like name, Sonali, those are the forms type, as well as table type is a uh, relational table might be there. Amazon Textract also supports uh, addition, five additional language in addition to English. Uh, I would uh, refer you to the documentation page uh, and um, uh, follow us on, uh, on our documentation as well. Um, and moreover, where we are going with the support for the specialized documents type. Uh, we last year will release uh, two new features where we support invoices and receipt type as well as identity documents such as like US driver's license and US pass passport type for accurate extraction and getting the insights directly from these documents type. Moving on to the next stage, how Amazon Comprehend can help you extracting the uh, entities. There are predefined entities such as like person, language, uh, date, quantity. So you are just calling into an API and it will give you the answer back. What if, if your extracted entity doesn't fall into that category of bucket list, how can you handle that? For that, Amazon Comprehend also offers custom entities, such as like in an insurance form, there is an insurance ID and that is very specific for your business domain and you want to extract it accurately. How can, what can you do that? In that case, you can leverage Amazon Comprehend custom entity feature to accurately extract your key business term. In addition to that, it can help you extracting, getting the key phrases and language as well as it supports topic modeling. Moving on to the enrichment stage of um, intelligent document processing pipeline. In that case, you can leverage Amazon Comprehend's uh, PII detection feature, as well as um, you can leverage Amazon Comprehend Medical's PHI detection feature. In that case, if you have a requirement of redacting the sensitive information from your document, these features of Comprehend, Comprehend Medical can help you. And moreover, like you are very interested or working in the healthcare domain, I would highly recommend look into our Comprehend Medical feature, which can give you like medication, medical condition, test treatment procedure, uh, as well as your diagnosis codes uh, uh, from your inferring the diagnosis code from your documents type. Moving on to the very last stage of uh, IDP or Intelligent Document Processing Pipeline uh, is the human review. So more, very most often what we have seen, uh, customer wants to uh, review some key business term. For example, in a document, SSN, you might want to review that uh, number uh, always most accurately all the time. In that case, you can just pass on just that element for a human being to review. Or else when the model is giving you little less threshold as per your business requirement. So in that case, just for the less threshold elements, you can pass it to a human being for the review. So in that case, you are cutting down on the customer, um, on the human being uh, expense, because you are not directly sending 100% of your documents, but just the amount what might be 10 or 20% of your document, you can have your human being to review. 
And you can leverage Amazon Augmented AI or A2I for um, automation of this uh, human review workforce with your IDP pipeline. And that's conclude the AWS IDP pipeline and off to you, Almir. Thank you. Thank you, Sonali. Yeah, thank you for the great slides and great presentation. So let's talk about the uh, Provectus IDP solution right now. Um, okay, so here in Provectus, we've built a couple of use, like several use cases in the past. And we, like for each use case, we had different workflows, integrations, uh, machine learning models, data structures, etc. And after doing the retrospective, over our all the past solutions and expertise like experience we just reimagined the concept of the product uh, solving very niche use case and came up with the Provectus IDP platform so the platform has inherited it's the best uh, of all the previous solutions including the user interface machine learning models built-in integrations and still offers high flexibility in the workflow building processes using custom machine learning models, pre-processing, post-processing capabilities. And like it does not compete with the other solutions. Our platform complements their results with our own models. So how does the typical workflow look like? Yeah, let's take a look. So first of all, IDP platform ingests various types of documents from any data source, would it be the database, email, S3 buckets, et cetera, and passes the results to the next stage. And depending on the use case and customer needs, it might be the pre-processing, like to do some noise reduction, image alignment, et cetera, classification, to identify the document type and apply proper machine learning models, or it might be directly the OCR and data extraction uh, component. So in the data extraction step, we can fully rely on Amazon text track or Comprehend, or we can use the rule-based templates, or we can use complex NLP models and literally anything else that will efficiently help us to extract the specific data we're looking for. Uh, yeah, as if the confidence score is low, we pass it to human experts. And yeah, just a reminder, results of the manual extraction, data extraction can be used to train the custom models and improve accuracy over time. And the last step is distribution of the data. It might be API endpoints, S3 bucket, CRM, ERP, and again, just literally anything, just like the data source, so we're very, very flexible on this. And on top of that, we get very deep data and process analysis using the Amazon QuickSight dashboards connected to the IDP platform database. Let's talk about the key features. So first of all, our solution is a platform. Uh, platform with specific configuration can be shipped as a standalone product aim to solve very specific problems and still be highly flexible and configurable if there is a need for that. Uh, also, our pre-built models share the same code, but deployed and trained for each customer separately. Uh, so each customer has their own version of the model working perfectly with their data sets. Our human in the loop UI covers most of the needs we observe from our customers and observing still uh, in the industry. Platform can work with all types of the documents, structured, semi-structured, unstructured, and handwritten text. And of course, uh, our customers have all the like capabilities to comply with the compliance requirements. So our solution can be deployed with respect to HIPAA, uh, PCI DSS, SOC2, and etc. 
So key benefits. Uh, when we talk about the accurate extraction, so we first of all build less error prone process and this leads to increased accuracy and our models uh, help to increase this accuracy and just improve over time, uh, ensuring the highest accuracy level, which is possible to reach with a given data set. Uh, accuracy is improved over time as our models are constantly training on the new data. And we help to streamline the business processes and scale it with the minimum efforts for the business. And you get the visibility over the process, accuracy and efficiency through the access to advanced analytics, which is also very, very high value. As for the values, so we accelerate your time to market. So our methodology allows you to avoid running long R&D cycles and starting development from scratch. We, we can help you to choose the right solution for your business within four weeks. Uh, we push the limits of the cloud and standalone solutions. As I mentioned, we do not compete with them, we complement them. And in the long run, as we mentioned, we can achieve uh, by uh, like increasing performance by 10 to 30%, which is, which is great. And the also very, very important part is the costs. So basically, uh, from our past experience, we were able to reduce the cost of our custom customers by two to eight X compared to manual workflows by 30% uh, compared to legacy OCR solutions and by 10% compared to modern cloud solutions. And now let's talk about the evaluation methodology. So we're happy to introduce the Proverbial Simulation methodology. This is an unbiased benchmarking tool for choosing the right intelligent document processing solution for your business. So some vendors demonstrate uh, better quality when processing lab records. Others are doing really well with the handwritten notes. Uh, but we need to consider all of this and we have developed methodology which will uh, help you simplify uh, the process of choosing the best option. So steps are very uh, simple and easy to understand. So we define the data set, we define the metrics, we evaluate uh, the data set, data set with the given metrics, we rank the results and pick the best solution. So any metrics should be based on a specific data set. It's extremely important not to only know which metrics to use, but also the data they are used on. So uh, let's talk about the exploratory data analysis. It, it is the must have uh, in any research. So you should always know what data you're working with. It should include, but not limited to, the type of documents, handwritten guess, type text, image, structured, non-structured, semi-structured. Are these documents scanned professionally or is just a mobile photos? The noise levels, the compliance levels, does it include PII, PHI data, etc.? So, and based on the EDA, you pick your evaluation data set, which should be a representative example of the data you have to make uh, for a fair assumption on the metrics later on. And once you have the evaluation data set, you pick the best metrics to measure uh, given the data set. Standard metrics such as F1 score, accuracy, uh, recall, etc. So they could remain the same, but your data will always, uh, the, the data applied to them will always vary from case to case. So, uh, yeah, what to choose? The main question of this webinar. So I hope today we were able to help you to answer this question. Uh, if, you, like, if you are on a very early stage, you don't have the expertise, you really want to quickly assess the IDP solutions. So we would recommend to go with the cloud 
cloud-based solutions, public cloud solutions. So you don't require any level of expertise to start. And they are pretty well shaped out today. So it, uh, it's a good solution as well. Uh, if you are more mature, if you have a very narrow specific use cases, uh, it's worth to consider standalone or custom in-house solutions. And it's up to you, it's up to your budgets, uh, what to choose, what is best. And I just want to remind that uh, our partner AWS has a full spectrum of IDP solutions to build the end-to-end -end systems. And IDP platform can bring you, Provertus IDP platform can bring you the best from two different categories, from the standalone and custom in-house. So this was Almir Dabutov with you. Thank you for your attention. And Jaroslav, I'm passing the word to you. Yeah, thanks Almir for the overview. Uh, all right, hope you now have a solid strategy for moving forward. Here is the next practical step for you to get started. Um, at Provectus, we have designed a special program to help you choose the best vendor and solution for a document process and use case. So we've developed an unbiased solution evaluation methodology and here are how it works. So essentially you would need to provide the business use case and then access to your data sets, as well as ensure that you have an ex executive sponsorship to support the engagement. Then we explore your data set and run it through our benchmarking framework against different OCR IDP solution vendors. And as a result, we will determine and provide you with the recommendation on the most cost efficient yet highly accurate solution for your specific use case. This offering is available to a limited number of customers and is a fully funded engagement by Provectus. Um, in order to apply for this program, you would just need to uh, send an inquiry through the form I'm sharing it to, my, to our chat right now. Yeah, please do. And uh, we can help our team uh, can help you get qualified for the program, have a quick 30 minute pre-assessment session and understand if we can uh, make it for you. Uh, please apply for the program in the chat window right now. And you will also have that link in the follow-up email after the session. Uh, next. All right, so these are takeaways. Uh, Almir, would you like to cover or we can proceed to the Q&A session now? Yeah, we can cover the takeaways. So uh, we've learned that basically ecosystem it really matters. So uh, data integration with the built-in industry specific connectors, data pipelines, OCR, NLP, security storage, everything. So these elements should be integrated with each other for optimal performance and then should be integrated with your existing systems. Um, and also using the unbiased benchmarking framework uh, developed by Provectus for evaluation of the real performance of different providers is also really essential to make the right right choice. And yeah, if if you want to um, reproduce the success of our customers, work with us, work with Provectus to reduce the processing costs to improve the accuracy and simply to build a successful solution. Thank you. Let's move to the Q&A. All right, yeah, thanks for listening. Maybe you have any questions regarding the content or the acceleration program, please send them to the Q&A tab in Zoom for webinar. All right, uh, I see one yeah. question. So John is asking whether the program is fully funded or they need to pay something for it. So no, the program is fully funded by Provectus. 
So we run it as a discovery workshop. This engagement uh, lasts for two weeks. So we engage with your technical team as well as management team. We identify a solution. We provide you a report based on your use case data. We uh, also provide you with solution architecture and adoption roadmap. And we calculate implementation cost and make an estimation for the total cost of ownership of the solution. Also, as a benefit from AWS, we will do a AWS funding eligibility assessment, which means that if you're qualified, we will, you will be uh, eligible for offsetting a part of costs for building a pilot uh, solution for your organization, which will be funded by AWS in this sense. Hope it helps. And Almir, I think we have another question from Wong. It's more technical. Would you like to address? Yes. Hey, uh, Wang is asking how to perform quality assurance called checking other than the human in the loop type of review. Many high score extracted value from OCR can be wrong. That's a good question. Uh, basically, first of all, we take the portion of all the successful, successfully uh, predicted results and pass it to the human review. So depending on the uh, cost of error for your business, depending on, the, uh, on your budgets, on your use case, the percentage of the data to be sent for verification may vary. So it might be 10% of the all successfully uh, predicted documents, or it might be 30%. So it allows us to make sure that our model is not just uh, saying that it, it's running properly, but it actually runs properly. So that's the essential for healthcare, as we mentioned previously, and manufacturing, so very uh, error critical industries, I would say. So I hope I answered your question. All right, let's wrap up. Feel free to reach out to us if, in case you have any questions. The webinar recording will be shared with you after the session and feel free to apply for the acceleration program and our team will contact you shortly. So again, it's fully funded, no commitment except for your time and dedication. So we are hoping that can help your company grow. Thank you.